Hey, my name is Darren Simmons. I'm from Five Star Media and Production, man. We in the studios here in Los Colinas. I got my girl Angie J here, man. We finna go into some stuff. Man, I'm telling you, you talking about an entrepreneur from the heart, somebody that does a lot. We're gonna get right into it. Well, you know, just go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Angie J from Dallas, Texas. Born and raised here in Dallas. Well, we're gonna, I asked a couple <laughs> of questions here. First of all, I know it's a lot of a lot of things you probably could have done with your life. What all do you do? Everyone, when you think of Angie J, what do you think about? <laughs> Angie J, um, entrepreneur, businesswoman. Um, I'm a woman of many hats, from bartending to teaching swing out to phlebotomist, um, makeup line. Wow. A little bit of everything. Do a little bit of everything. Do okay. Everything. So you say you do the uh so we'll just start with some of the ones that caught me. You say you do swing out lessons <laughs> yes. as well. Yes. How long have you been doing that? Uh twenty years. Twenty years. I started when I was twenty. Okay. And what type of uh telling my age. You, you started when you was twenty? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, okay. So that's even little, old little... enough to get the club. Yeah, but you was dancing. I was in there, yes. Okay, yes. well that's good. But, uh, yeah. So what do you like to uh what kind of swing out? I know it's, it's di is it different um, kind of swing. I know like do like step in, they do sw regular swing out. This so. is a DFW swing out. So it's six count dance, circular dance, partner dancing. Stepping is a little bit different. It's a different count for stepping. Okay. So swing out is my first love. Then I went into West Coast Swing, which is an eight count. It's extended count. So I did a lot of traveling with that okay. and teaching workshops and doing private lessons and weddings and any and everything. Wow. With swing. And so now you say you also bartend. Do you do private events yes. or do you do, uh, can they call you about private yes, events? Yes, they can. Uh, my bartending business is called Mix All the Chicks and the Crew. Dallas, Texas. I have two other um, bartenders up under me. Uh, I've been bartending legally. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to say legally. Okay. It's, 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 it's whatever. <laughs> I've been bartending for a long time. A long time. I love it. I'm a people person and I just that just gave me a chance to meet different people so I can talk about my different businesses that I have. Okay. And I know uh, it's a saying they got. They say your face is beat up. So, you know, I guess <laughs> it's, you, get, it's, you got it slayed. Okay. So they don't say beat up no more. Excuse me, y'all. They don't say your face is beat up no more. But, uh, so you also do makeup and everything, yes, right? Yes, I do makeup. Uh, I got into makeup because when I started competing nationally in West Coast Swing, mm -hmm. I started going to the different makeup shops and I'm like, hey, you know, for my costume, I need to have my face slayed mm -hmm. because I used to watch a lot of the like Latin dancers do their salsa and the face be made up. So that's how I got into the makeup side of it. So I started doing makeup, doing my own makeup, and then uh, the people at the competitions, the competitors would ask me to do their makeup. So I started doing their makeup. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, you know what, I want to do my own makeup line. You know, so I started with lipsticks. So that's what I'm currently doing: lipsticks, lip glosses, and mascara right now. So I actually started making my own lipsticks okay. by hand, and then I went through that phase, and that was okay. And then I found a company that pretty much makes everything for me. Okay, well, we definitely will show uh, <laughs> show some of your your makeup and everything. Get that out there, and uh, <laughs> man, it seems like you got a lot. How do you I balance? Know. I know people want to know. You know, because man. me uh, being an entrepreneur also. Balance is always a hard thing, you know. Yes. So how do you manage yes. to balance your work, personal life, and Man. everything? How do you manage to do all of that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, you know, I just make it work. Uh, I just pretty much, you know, focus. They say focus on one thing and then go from there. But I'm, I got my foot in everything, you know, because with the makeup, I'm pushing that. Every time I do my makeup, I'm always advertising my lipsticks because I'm rocking Carpe Venom today. Oh. My makeup line is Color Me Too Cosmetics, yeah. and that's color with the K and cosmetics with the K. Okay. But um, so I just try to, I mean, that's, I mean, I'm just hungry for it, so I just make it all happen. Okay. I do this, I do that. I need an assistant. Need an assistant? <laughs> She's putting it out there, y'all. When I get big, I need somebody to start with me now, so when I get big, you know, I'm going to take care of you. Yeah. Now, listen. A lot of times we wonder, what is your why? What drives you? You know, a lot of people like, well, you know, they had a horrible story. They had an experience. What made you decide to be an entrepreneur? Uh, my dad. I have two dads, my biological dad and then my stepdad. My biological dad, he was an electrician. Uh, he had his own TV business back in the day, and he had about five ice cream trucks. 
oh, over by South Oak Cliff High School. Joe Cool was his ice cream truck. <laughs> Everybody knew Joe Cool. So it's just in my blood. And then my stepdad, he's always been an entrepreneur. You know, he has several different businesses as well. So it's just in my blood. I want to be my own boss. I don't want to clock in. And I don't knock the people that clock in. You know, get it how you get it. <laughs> but I just love working for myself. I want to, because I have two boys, one in college, one's in the seventh grade, but they were really, really active in school. So I didn't want to miss no games, no practices. So by me being my own boss, that freed me up to set my schedule so I can be there for my kids. So that's pretty much my why. My kids are my why. You know, my son in school to be an architect down at PV. Ooh, we so excited. So, um, so that's that's my drive. My boys. Okay. But well, what is your worst experience in this business? <sighs> Ooh, I don't want to say that. Um, my worst experience is just people wanting things for free. Yes. That's my worst. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that. Um, you know, whether they know you or we got the same skin tone, they want a discount. They want a hookup. How can I get it for free? But, you know, versus if they go somewhere else, they're not going to ask that. So that's the thing that I don't like. That's my worst thing okay. is people want to get something for free all the time. All the time. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Stop asking for yes. stuff for free. Matter right. of fact, be a big tipper. Say, you know, instead of this, I'm going to give you an extra $100, $200,000. Exactly. Say that you know. again. So what is your, uh, your, your experience? I know, you know, a lot of times when people say, I want to work for myself. I want to have the liberty to work for myself. Yeah. What is the, your best experience that you had so far? Um, just, you know, when I started doing my lipsticks, I was out there on the grind. I was setting up in different clubs. Shout out to the clubs that let me come in and spot and set up my little table. I was doing a lot of vendor. Um, you know, they were having different events and you could pay for a vendor booth. So I was doing that. And my lipsticks, they just like took off. So I was happy about that. I was like, woo, because it, it take a lot of time. Right. You know, it's time and effort and everything. You know, I put a lot into what I do. So That's good. Looks good. Yeah, no. Looking good. Thank I see. You, you slayed. Okay. <laughs> she got it together. Now, yes. 2020, I know you probably got a big vision board and everything. How you know? I already know. How you know I, I got a vision board? Uh, what can we expect? So I have a business. I got a business vision board, and then I have my personal. We'll just talk about my business. No, we talk okay. about both. Well, let, let's, 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 let's jump look into both of them. Well, my business uh, vision board is just rebranding, color me two cosmetics, mm -hmm. getting with the great marketer, yeah. a marketing team, Five you know, to help me, um, <laughs> just to help me get my business out there to everyone. You know, right now it's just word of mouth, it's Facebook, it's social media, and that's why I'm starting up my YouTube page so I can get people to subscribe and follow me and all of that. So I want to rebrand my makeup line. Uh, my bartending company, uh, Mixala Chicks and the Crew, I pretty much want to push that because I want to do more events versus being... I love working in the bar. Don't get me wrong because I'm a sociable person, but I want to do more events with that. You know, just build that. And um, my, I didn't even say nothing about my black women are dope. Nice. I got to get you a go, shirt. Go ahead. go ahead. All right. So we got Black Women of Dope Apparel. It's on Facebook. It's basically just sweatsuits, T-shirts, BD hats, and it just says Black Women of Dope. And I just came out with Black Men of Dope because I was getting the men coming at me saying, hey, where, where are the Black Men of Dope T-shirts and sweatsuits? I said, support the queens right now. We're going to get to you. Support yeah. us. So, yeah. So I'm just dibbling, dabbling in everything. That's good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> now, everybody, I know y'all want to know 2020. She said some personal things. I'm going to ask us about her personal. Man, what what, what can spot. Yeah, what what can we expect from your personal life in 2020? <laughs> My personal life. You know what? I'm just going to be real with you right now. I'm just kind of just focused on my businesses, gotcha. you know. I want to have a personal, you know, life or whatever. But I mean, right now I'm just focused on my business. I'm so busy trying to do that, you know. And I just haven't, you know, found that one that's, you know, I done, I done ran into some knuckleheads, uh -huh. you know, them knuckleheads, yeah. you know. That I mean, a lot of people just don't know what they want, you know. Right. So. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to go to commercial. And then what we're going to do is right after that, we're going to show some of her makeup line and also some of her products that she has. We'll be right back. My name is Yava. Some, Lil Yava. Some, 
Yava do, son, Yava Briscoe. I grew up on the east side of Fort Worth, Eastwood to be exact. I used to hoop at Pay Park. I sold dope around the corner from my grandma's house. But that was that side. And it's always two sides to every story. Now my father's side, I had to live up to a certain standard. How to be a lady. Regardless of the felony cases, regardless of the misdemeanor DWIs, and regardless of everything that I put myself through, the only person besides my mama that remained consistent was God. This is my story. This is my song. From the block to the barber shop. Going down! a call at 817-953-3005 extension 2. Once again, that's 817-953-3005 extension 2. You can go to our website at www.tlifenetwork.com. That's tlifenetwork.com. DS Sounds, we have you looking great and sounding great. Thank y'all for staying tuned in and we're back. I'm with Angie J. Y'all like I promised? She's going to explain to us what we have here. Tell us what we have. All right, so let's start off with the Black Women of Dope line. This is my sweatsuit right here. It says uh, Black Women of Dope. It has my signature, Angie J, my little Hancock. And then on the back is just the abbreviation for Black Women of Dope. So I have the sweatsuits, the hoodies, sweatpants. You can also get boy shorts, if you like, for the ladies and, you know, for the men to look at. Uh, we also have t-shirts as well, different colors from gray, black, white. Uh, you can get them in a V-neck or regular. So there's some t-shirts there, different colors. And then this is the newest one, what the men have been asking for. Black men are dope, but this is uh, reflective. So you probably can kind of tell it's a reflective sweatsuit right here. All sizes, all the way up to 5X. We can make it happen. And the same thing as the black women are dope, because black men are dope. All right. So, yeah, we That's got hot. that. We got that. So y'all Black men sure. and women are dope. That's yes, we are. We are the kings and queens. Yes, we are. Okay. So, also, I brought a couple of my lipsticks from my lipstick line, Color Me Too Cosmetics. Today, I'm wearing Carpe Venom. You like? I like it. Is it cute? Uh, it it is. look good? It look real good. Okay. So, this is Carpe Venom. This is Crazy in Love, which is one of my favorites. Crazy in Love. Yes. <laughs> then we have No Filter. I love me a good pink. I love a fuchsia or a hot pink. This is uh, No Filter. And then we have Bachelorette. So all you ladies that are newly, that's just got engaged, because we had a lot of engagements, okay. especially in 2019. Yeah. But we got some in 2020. So this is for the new ladies, all right, that's about to get married. And then I have several other colors as well. Well, y'all see. Now, if they want to buy and purchase this, because yes. I know we're going to sell out all of this. Sell out all of it. Everything. We're going to sell out everything. Everything. <laughs> Where can they contact you at? Uh, Facebook and Instagram. 
uh, Color Me Too Cosmetics. That's color with the K, cosmetics with the K, and the number two. So you can check me out there. Also, for the Black Women Are Dope, you can go on Facebook. It's Black Women Are Dope Apparel on Facebook. And then my website for my lipstick line is colormetoocosmetics.com. And remember, that's color with the K and cosmetics with the K. Okay? All right. Now, if, <laughs> now a, a lot of times people say they need to be inspired. Mm -hmm. So if it's a young person or even an older person, yeah. what kind of inspiration can you give them before we get out of here? You know what? As far as with the makeup line, I get a lot of ladies that say, I don't wear makeup, you know, only at special events. That's fine. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold a basic uh, beginner's makeup class coming soon. Okay, for the ladies that just want to do a natural face, it doesn't have to be dramatic and glammed up, just a natural face, you know, just to make them feel good. Because I feel like when you feel good and you look good, hey, it's the bomb. It's the bomb. <laughs> All right. It's the bomb. Angie J, don't y'all forget to look her up. Five Star Mini and Production, we bringing you the hottest and the dopest Come on. people around. Right. And thank you for having me. No problem. All thank right. you for being here. <laughs>